द फिजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ इंडिया कैन बी ग्रुप्ड एज द हिमालयन माउंटेन्स द नदर्न प्लेन्स द पेनसुलर प्लेटो द इंडियन डेजर्ट द कोस्टल प्लेन्स एंड द इंडियन आईलैंड द हिमालयन माउंटेन्स आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस इन इंडिया टू एक्सप्लोर द गिफ्ट ऑफ नेचर इट्स हाइएस्ट पीक्स स्नो क्लैड माउंटेन्स carpet of flowers and sunrise sunset through the mountains offer a delightful experience the himalayan ranges can be grouped into five parallel longitudinal mountain belts of varying width each having distinct physiographic features and its own geological history they are designated from south to north as the outer or sub himalayas they are also called the shivalik range then the lesser or lower himalayas next the great himalayan range known as the himadri range and the tethys or tibetan himalayas further north lies the trans himalayas from west to east the himalayas are divided broadly into three mountainous regions that is western central and eastern the himalayas are 2400 km long and their width varies from 400 km in kashmir to 150 km in arunachal pradesh The Shivaliks are the southernmost and geologically youngest east-west mountain chain of Himalayas. They have many sub-ranges and extend west from Arunachal Pradesh through Bhutan to West Bengal and further westward through Nepal and Uttarakhand, continuing into Himachal Pradesh and Kashmir. They extend over a width of 10 to 50 kilometers and have an altitude varying between 900 to 1100 meters the longitudinal valley lying between the lesser himalayas and the shivaliks are known as dunes for example we have tehra dun kotli dun and patli dun now these are some of the well known dunes The hills are cut through at wide intervals by numerous large rivers flowing south from the Himalayas. Next is the Lesser Himalayas or Himachal Himalayas. The Lesser Himalayas or Himachal Himalayas lies to the south of Himadri. The altitude varies between 3700 and 4500 meters and the average width is 50 kilometers it consists of the peer panjal range which forms the longest and the most important range next is the dhauladhar range and the mahabharat range now these three are the important ranges lying in the lesser himalayas the peer panjal range is the largest sub range of lesser himalayas it is a group of majestic mountains in the indian state of himachal pradesh and jammu and kashmir the average elevation varies from 1400 meters to 4100 meter the peer panjal range is the largest range of the lower himalayas dev tibba and indrasan are the two tallest peak of peer panjal mountain range it also has india's longest rail tunnel known as the peer panjal railway tunnel then it is banihal road tunnel famous rotang pass and banihal pass the dhauladhar range is one of the branch of the main outer himalayan chain of mountains in himachal pradesh Dhauladhar mountain range is one of the major attractions in Kangra along with the amazing Kangra valley
हाइएस्ट पीक्स ऑफ द धौलाधार रेंज इज द हनुमान जी का तिब्बा विथ एन एलिवेशन ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी नाइन मीटर्स द महाभारत रेंज कंप्लीटली लाइज इन नेपाल द लेसर हिमालयास कंसिस्ट ऑफ द कश्मीर कैंगरा एंड कुलू वैलीज द कश्मीर वैली is bounded on the southwest by the Pir Panjal range and on the northeast by the main Himalayan range. It is approximately 135 kilometers long and 32 kilometers wide and is drained by the river Jhelum. Kulu Manali is one more important tourist place in this region. Due to its close proximity these two names that is Kulu and Manali are often considered as a single destination the valley is known for its amazing hills and various temples and sightseeing locations attract a huge number of visitors each year the kulu valley is surrounded by devdar and pine forest and is located between the lower and the greater himalayan ranges as well as the inner himalayan ranges of the Pir Panjal Kulu Manali is one of the topmost tourist places in Himachal Pradesh and is frequented by huge crowds of tourists and pilgrims Kangra Valley predominantly lies in the state of Himachal Pradesh in India it is one of the Himachal's most beautiful valleys the next one is the great Himalayas or Himadri this is the most continuous loftiest and northernmost range of the himalayas the snow clad mountain ranges rise in height up to 6000 meters and are covered with snow many peaks exceed 8000 meters it is a source of a large number of glaciers of varying dimensions when i say glacier it refers to a huge mass of moving ice though it is described as the longest range it is not continuous because a large number of rivers originating in the north of this range cut across and form deep gorges and move towards the south however compared to the other two himalayan ranges the himadri is more massive the great himalayan range run in a northwest to southeast direction in the western part behind these ranges lies the jhaskar range the jhaskar range is a mountain range in the indian state of jammu and kashmir that separates jhaskar from ladakh geologically the jhaskar range is a part of the tethys himalayas the next one is the trans himalayan ranges they are about 40 kilometers wide and 965 kilometers long it consists of karakoram ladakh and kailash range the karakoram range is located in the northern part of the state of jammu and kashmir it is one of the major ranges of himalayan system it is the home of the highest concentration of peaks rising over 8000 meters k2 is the second highest peak in the world and the highest peak in india it runs for a distance of 500 kilometers and is heavily glaciated part of the world outside the polar region the next one is the ladakh range it is more or less like a huge high altitude plateau region It is located between the Karakoram range and the main Himalayan range. It lies in the rain shadow area. The entire Ladakh region can be described as a cold desert. The next one is the Kailash range. Now this range lies entirely outside Indian territory. The Kailash peak and Mansarovar are the prime attraction for pilgrims from west to east the himalayas are divided broadly into three mountainous regions that are western central and eastern 
द वेस्टर्न हिमालयास एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम द इंडस रिवर इन द वेस्ट टू काली रिवर अलॉन्ग द नेपाल बॉर्डर इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड उत्तराखंड द वेस्टर्न हिमालयास कैन बी फर्दर डिवाइडेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रीजन्स सच एज कश्मीर हिमालयास हिमाचल हिमालयास पंजाब हिमालयास एंड कुमोन हिमालयास द नेक्स्ट वन इज द सेंट्रल हिमालयास इट स्ट्रेचेस बिटवीन रिवर काली टू रिवर तेस्टा द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ सेंट्रल हिमालयास इज कवर्ड बाय नेपाल इट्स ईस्टर्न पार्ट इज कॉल्ड द सिक्किम हिमालयास एंड द दार्जिलिंग हिमालयास द ईस्टर्न हिमालयास इट स्ट्रेचेस बिटवीन द टीस्टा एंड ब्रह्मपुत्रा इट ऑक्युपाइज द स्टेट ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश द ईस्टर्न हिमालयास आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड अरुणाचल हिमालयास द ईस्टर्न हिमालयास हैव अ नंबर ऑफ पासस जलिपला इन सिक्किम एंड बुमला इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश आर मेन रूट्स टू द टिबिटियन कैपिटल लहासा आफ्टर लर्निंग द मेन हिमालयन रेंजेस वी शैल लर्न अबाउट द असोसिएटेड माउंटेन्स नाउ द हिल रेंजेस रनिंग इन द नॉर्थ साउथ डिरेक्शन अलॉन्ग द म्यानमार बॉर्डर आर कॉल्ड पूर्वांचल एज दे फॉर्म द ईस्टर्न मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री दे आर कॉल्ड पूर्वांचल दे रन थ्रू द स्टेट्स ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश नागालैंड मणिपुर मिजोरम As a result of the eastward movement of the Indo-Australian plate we find that a series of hills have developed in this region from north to south these hills are referred by different names like we have Patkoi hills in Arunachal Pradesh Naga hills in Nagaland Manipur hills in Manipur and Lushai hills in Mizoram the highest peak of naga hills is saramati peak which is 3826 meters